Well, Cornell Law School's First Amendment Clinic has filed a lawsuit now on behalf of an Agra County woman who faces criminal charges over missing cows. They claim a judge exceeded his authority by placing a social media gag order on Tracy Murphy as her case awaits resolution. Channel 2's Dave McKinley spoke with them about that today. Dave? Mary Alice, Tracy Murphy is a well-known animal rights activist and founder of the Asha Farm Sanctuary in Newfane. Ten months ago, she found herself embroiled in a cattle caper that resulted in criminal charges. It was last August when Murphy said a cow and a steer wandered onto her property, which she then kept and cared for. When the owner of the cattle demanded their return, she refused until he could prove they were his and pay her for the husbandry she extended. That got her charged with felony grand larceny, later reduced to a misdemeanor. But a town judge also issued a blanket ban on Murphy's use of social media while her case is pending. She can't even open Facebook on her phone and scroll through to see pictures of her relative's kids. In court papers, the lawyers from Cornell claimed the order amounts to a violation of Murphy's constitutional right to free speech. Suppressing First Amendment activity before it's even happened is what we call a prior restraint. And the Supreme Court has called that one of the most serious and least tolerable infringements on First Amendment rights. Noted First Amendment attorney Paul Cambria, who is not involved in this case, thinks the folks from Cornell are absolutely right, especially in their contention the judge's order was overly broad and vague. It's overbroad in the sense that it says she can't access all social media. I mean, that has to be pinpointed to something that could affect the case negatively. Secondly, as far as it being vague, it has to say something specific, like you can't make a statement that could interfere with the fairness of the trial, something like that. And they haven't done that. He also believes such an order issued as a condition of Murphy's continued pretrial release runs afoul of bail laws. The bail laws do not uh, uh, allow for that at all. He notes bail has to do with the determined risk of whether or not a defendant will return to court. And this has nothing to do with getting back to court. Cambria predicts the judge's social media gag order in this case will be overturned, and lawyers from Cornell say they have reason to believe so as well. We haven't been able to find any cases where a social media ban this broad was even enacted, much less upheld by a court. The motion to lift that gag order has been assigned to Supreme Court Justice Frank Sedita, who is scheduled to hear arguments on August 19th. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.